Hello guys, welcome to this video. It's going to be quite informal um, because it's been almost a year of lockdown now and I've forgotten how to speak and how to make videos it seems. But exciting news, um, goth pikes have started making boots again. So they make like Winkle Picker 80s style boots, which are like my favourite kind of shoe ever. Like should have been born so that I was a teenager in the 80s, but I was not, but it's fine. Um, I was born in the 80s, but anyway, I digress. So I bought a couple of pairs. I've bought three pairs in total, two of which have arrived already. Um, I bought them last year, but obviously Christmas delays and stuff like that. Um, I should sort of preface this to say that I am not rich. Um, <laughs> I've been kind of selling stuff on eBay to pay for the boots and one pair of them are for my wedding, so you will see those as well. So they've kind of come out of the wedding budget. So we are going to get married at some point um, <laughs> after COVID, hopefully. So yes, let's get started. Um, I'm also going to put a pair of boots from Strange Cult. I think they're still called Strange Cult, even though the cult is a V, like the U is a V. Anyway, I'm going to put the Strange Cult boots in this review as well, um, just to kind of let you know what I think of them really. So yeah. Let's go on to the first pair, shall we? So we'll start with the wedding pair. So the Goth Pikes boots came in, let me just move you down here. There we go, it's a bit better. Came in kind of a box like this, two boxes, sellotaped together. Okay, move this onto my lap and then you can see. So these are the wedding pair. So I decided to get some pikes for my wedding because I'm a goth and I love pikes. So I am vegan, so I got them in a vegan material. These are nine buckle bat pikes. They're pretty much exactly the same design as when goth pikes were making pikes before. Um, I will show you a comparison in a minute as well. Um, the only difference being that on this side, these bits of stitching are a bit more square, whereas the ones on the older goth pike are quite rounded. But that's literally the only difference I can tell, to be honest with you. Um, the inside is nice and padded, but not too thick. And there's also this cute little, like, goth pikes label in there as well which I thought was really cool. They have changed their label. Um, I'll show you a comparison in a minute. The bottom of the shoe is the same as it's always been so it's really kind of absolutely no grip on this part and then the heel has got a little bit of grip but I find unless you're going like nature hiking in these which I very much doubt anyone's going to do um, they're fine like they're fine on a dance floor once you've worn them outside a little bit you just scuff them up on the pavement a bit and they're good to go I mean you can get grippy stuff for the bottom of these but I've never ever put any on mine and apart from I think when I was walking around Arnos Vale which is this big cemetery uh, in Bristol where I live some of the paths there are kind of like woodlandy so they can get a bit more slippy apart from that I've been absolutely fine so I wouldn't worry too much if you're just using them for like going out to clubs or walking about or everyday shoes really. So I found sizing wise, I am a UK six, which is, which is an EU 39. And when I got these out, I was like, oh, they look a little bit bigger than I remember. And I was right, they are a tiny bit bigger, but they still fit really well. In fact, I think they fit a bit better than my previous goth pikes um, from the same seller which is nice. There's just a little bit more sort of wiggle room in the ends because obviously no one's feet, unless you're like a hardcore goth. Like I reckon um, Andrew Aldrich has probably got uh, feet this, this shape. But apart from that, you know, us everyday goths don't have really pointy feet. So it's just nice to have a little bit of extra room as well. So let me show you one of the old goth pikes. So I'll put, I'll put them down there in one second. I've got one of my older ones with me to show you. Bear with me. My t-shirt's falling down. This is very glamorous. I do all the, all the most glamorous things. This is at home goth. 
Right, so this is one of my other pairs of pikes from the same cellar. Pretty much exactly the same in length, I'd say, which dead on. But the sizing, if we put them sole to sole, you can't really see it actually, it looks quite similar. But I do think these ones are a tiny bit bigger. Maybe it's just because they're new. Hmm, putting them side by side, they look almost the same now. So maybe, maybe ignore me. Maybe they are exactly the same size. But I don't know. They just felt like there was a bit more room in them. I don't know if it's because these ones have been worn in a bit more or something. But yeah. Okay, maybe I've gone completely mad. No, now they look exactly the same. So do ignore me. They are exactly the same. Um, the zip's the same. The buckles are the same. The only thing that's different in these ones is the label is different, but they are the same company. They've just changed their label. Um, you can see what I mean about the bottom scuffing up a bit. So I wear these like a fair amount, really. And the bottom's scuffed to the point of it not being slippery. But you can see, even though it's quite a thin sole, I thought I'd have to resole these like immediately, to be honest, but they've lasted really, really well. Uh, I've had these for a few years now, so. Yeah, awesome. Right, so that's the old pair for comparison. Um, the ordering process was quite easy, to be fair. Hold on, let's put you back up here. The ordering process was quite easy. They haven't got their web shop uh, back up at the moment, so you do have to go to their Facebook page. Uh, you just message them and, you know, you, you basically look through all the pictures on the uh, Facebook page, see what kind of design you want. You message them, see if they can do that design. And if they can, brilliant. They'll uh, make it for you and then they will send it off. Um, I believe they used to make their shoes in Germany. Don't quote me on that. Um, but now they look like they're shipping from Peru. So it is taking a lot longer, I'd say. Um, than before although they they were never like straight away because they do make them all sort of you know quite individually like I don't think they do like big batches of them these for example were a, a customer order for for my wedding so it's not like um, Doc Martens or something where they've got a massive warehouse of them somewhere so they are making them to order order I can't speak um, <laughs> so yeah I'd say considering they're making them to order like the wait time is not bad at all. Um, I think it's 13 euros flat shipping, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. They will sort of give you a price and stuff if you message them on Facebook. Uh, they're really nice as well, which is always a plus. Um, I think these were a hundred and, I think they're 120 something euros. I can't remember. That's really bad, isn't it? I should look that up. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll give you the kind of, the amounts and stuff. These are obviously a bit more because they are tall as well. Um, you can get four buckle ones. You can get like two buckle ones, I think. You can get like shorter ones. So they're kind of like this sort of length. I think they they even do like flats as well, which are quite nice. Um, if that's more your style. I like going for the kind of flat style ones of these kind of pikes, but they also do them with heels. So yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with these. They've got cool back buckles on as well they're the same buckles as their previous shoes so if you have any of those they'll be the same buckles so that's the wedding pair and then I also got in this same order some that I've been after for ages and then they stopped making them so I was like no oh god um, so these are the nine buckle vegan black leather um, coffin boots Pikes. So again, the the construction is exactly the same as the white one. Um, the inside of the white one is all black, but I noticed. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this. Probably can't. You can't see it, can you? Hold on. Let me try and get my light, and you can see the bot, the, like the sole of these. I don't know if they're like this on all of them, but the sole is red, which I thought was like. Is that the sole? Hold on. Oh, this is not good, is it? There we go. Woo! There we are. You can sort of see. 
like the insole, not the sole, is red, which was really cool. <laughs> I know that's like a small detail, but I thought that was cool. Um, so, yeah, exactly the same in terms of construction. They've got the cool little Goth Pikes label in there as well. The sole is the same. Yeah. So what I thought I'd do as well is people have been asking um, online if I can find it. Where is it? I had one here for this exact purpose and now I can't find it. People have been asking what the circumference of the boot is. Aha, here it is. So like the inner circumference. So I thought I'd do the outside and then the inside and you can kind of see. So let's have a look. So. I'm going to do it in centimetres and in inches so you can kind of, you get an idea. So let's just take it to there. Could have made this easier for myself and done it the other way around, couldn't I? There we go, let's do that. So the outside circumference is just over 13 and a half inches. So it's about dead on 34 centimetres. That's the outside circumference. The inside circumference of this, I'll see if I can do it. It's a bit more fiddly to do the inside of something. My friends that sew would be able to do this with no issue. But I'm in the process of learning how to sew, so I am not the best at this. There we go. I'd say around 11 and a half inches. I mean, give or take. Hold on. I want to try and get this as like absolutely right as I can for you guys. Well, the seamstress is now probably like laughing at me trying to do this. Hold on, let's do it to there. <laughs> oh my god, this is difficult. Okay, I'd say it's about 12 inches um, internally. Give or take with my rubbish measure measuring skills, but there we are. So it's about 12 inches in, in that bit. I'd say if you want more room, maybe ask them. I don't know if they can make them in different sizes. Um, bearing in mind, this is a zip closure, so there's not going to be a lot of leeway in that. I think they do do some that are um, like lace up as well. So that could be an idea. But yeah, I really love the buckles on these. I think they're really cute. They're kind of like a brushed metal as well, so they're not super shiny, which is nice. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. As I said, they're like my favourite kind of shoe, so... Woo! Right, let's look at... Oh, actually, let's do a little comparison with the black ones first. Because we can see, can't we, how well they've kind of... Right, given that I've worn these out a lot, that's the new ones and that's the old ones. I think they've lasted pretty damn well, to be honest. Hmm impressed very impressed right so what I'm going to do now is show you a pair of pikes sort of pikes by a company called strange cult I'm sure you've probably heard of them by now they're quite they're getting really popular um, they do loads of different designs so I got these last year um, I actually got them for Christmas but I bought them like a lot earlier than that they're kind of a Western cowboy kind of style boot. They call them coven boots, I think. Um, so these are on the label on the box. They say they are a size six. So I'll show you the box. The box is very cool. Let's, let's not lie. They've definitely got their brand down. The box is cool. The inside has really cool like red spidery paper, like spiderweb paper. And the box says, where are we? UK 6, EU 3839, I mean 38 to 39 is 5 point, 
is five to six, I think, not six. But it says UK six. So I thought, I'm a UK six in my shoe size. Um, obviously not in my normal size, you can see that. Um, <laughs> so I thought I'd order the UK six. Now, they fit. But gods are they tight. And I don't have, like, big feet. I have relatively narrow feet. Um... I never have an issue with shoes fitting. Like, I'm pretty much dead on a size 6. Um, yeah. So, I thought I'd do a bit of a size comparison between these two shoes. So, this is the Goth Pikes. Size 6. Like, EU39, UK6. Here are the Strange Colt shoes. Put them together. There's, like, a noticeable difference there. I'd say they are a 5. Honestly, because they're pointed as well. Like you can't put your foot to the very end of that. So I'd say there are five. Um, I really like them as a shoe. I think they're really cool. But am I going to be able to wear them as much as I can wear these? No. So yeah, I mean, I got them shipped over from America as well. So there's loads of import tax. Um, so I actually bought two pairs of these because I like them so much. I was like, right, I'm going to buy two pairs of these because I'll sh I'm sure I'll wear them all the time. Um, everyone I'd seen who had like got these and I asked like the company and everything like sizing and they said no get your normal size don't have to size up you don't have to size down hmm I don't know if it's just the style of these I don't know if their flats are different but these come up really 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 small and it's annoying as well and it's not like I can stretch them out very easily because they're not leather so they're not going to stretch as easily they're just going to break so we shall see. Maybe if I wear them in a little bit more, because obviously I've just worn them around the flat because it's locked down in England. You can't go anywhere. And I do like them. But yeah, bit disappointed. Love the actual shoe. Not happy on the sizing. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at them anyway. So they've got how many straps? One, two, three, four, five, six. They've got six straps up the front with some lacing. This is all for show, however, as they actually do up. At the back, like that. So they have still got an actual tongue which moves, you can see. But it's all for show, so it does up at the back. So you slip your foot in at the back and then do it up. The zip is a bit tough to do up and down as well, as you can see. Um, I'm not sure if that will sort of get better over time. But I found even when I'm putting them on, on my foot, they're quite hard to put on. Um... Again, this could be an issue that's resolved just by wearing them for a little bit. Um, I haven't been able to test them out outside, really, because there's nowhere to go. I do really like them, though. Uh, they seem pretty well made. The sole actually has a little bit of grip, but I, it's more of a kind of a grip you get on a pair of heels. You know, it's that kind of grip. So I think they'd still be relatively slippy on the ground until you've scuffed them up a bit, but I haven't tried that. So yeah, that's the strange cult ones. Just in case anyone was thinking of getting a pair, I would say size up. Um, especially if you live in England or anywhere like that and you're going to have to import them from America because there isn't actually a UK stockist of these at the moment. Um, so yeah, you have to import them. So I'd say just size up. I mean, you can always wear big socks if they're a little bit big, but it's an absolute like nightmare trying to wear shoes that are too small. You know what I mean? So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, it's probably just going to be one long video um, because I've had issues trying to edit stuff on my really old computer. But that said, I hope you are all well. Take care, everybody. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.